mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and we are back with the Talos Principile. So, technically speaking, I have been here before twice now. Once in the first playthrough, I did about 2005, I don't know. And secondly, last week, or whenever it was, I lasted the recording. Um, I think I've mentioned this um, in various places. But essentially, I finished this um, mission, level, whatever you want to call it here. Um, I went to record the next playthrough immediately. Got about 15 minutes in and the entire game crashed to the point I had to reset the computer to get out of it. I couldn't just um, control or delete my way out. The entire thing went completely bugger up. So I had all the audio recorded. Audacity was fine for once. It was the, the game that broke. When the game broke, it corrupted the uh, Bandicam record, so I couldn't access the uh, couldn't access the video. So, what I did in that 15 minutes was I completed a, a puzzle, and then I went and opened up a new area. Unfortunately, I can't seem to remember which puzzle it was. I remember the name, I think, or I will remember the name when I see it. I just can't remember what it was called. Is this one? Behind the Iron Curtain. Behind the Iron Curtain. Did I do two puzzles and didn't realise it? Because Behind the Iron Curtain from ringing a bell as well. Hmm. I can't remember. So I'll hold off on opening the new area up. I'll finish this area off so I can say for a fact I've definitely... Completed the puzzle I did last time, and at some point in the future, we'll go open up the last area. So now I can. Is there a... I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Talos is doing its utmost to uh, to annoy me at the moment in terms of what it uh, will and won't do. It either won't play properly... So it's crashing and I've got to redo sections like this. So I didn't know for the longest time if I'd actually be able to find the uh, appropriate to back up to get back to where I was or whether I just have to say, sorry, I've skipped some of the uh, plot stuff. Because, yeah, opening a new area is basically a plot advance. And what the last thing I wanted to do was advance the plot and miss it. Because that's kind of... In, in my opinion, that's the most interesting thing about... Um, playing long through game long playing games like this it's so you can see the story that's going on filling in the puzzles is just you know the, the moment to moment thing the thing you're actually trying to um, to do is make the story go I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now um, let's oh I know what I can do if I do this that not that. What am I doing? Let's try that again. I mean, this. No, that's not going to work. So I need... Okay. Right. Let's stick that there for the moment. Let's open up that again. So I'm certainly going to need that as a thing. So I need to find another... Laser beam, which I'll presumably need to put on top of a box so it can fire over the top of the red. Okay. Oh, actually, there's a red there. Okay, let's leave that for now. Obviously, there's no point in me doing anything with that for the moment. So that turns this on. What can I see up here? Okay, this gets me through to another area. Sorry, I was wondering if up here could do something with that star up there, because I know I need to fire a laser beam from somewhere else. I don't think it's going to work a bit. time. If memory serves, I need a blue laser to do stuff over there. I keep doing that. I keep trying to solve puzzles before I am in any way, shape or form in a situation to be able to solve them. I haven't found all the puzzle pieces, so how much? Right. Okay. Right. So, 
I need to get my connector out there. I wonder, do I? Ah, maybe I have to sacrifice a box to this little area over here. Because there's really anything can come up on here. So if I go back through here. I'm assuming I'm going to need to keep one box at least. So this thought process is... It could save me, it could completely screw me. That was a dumb one, I don't know that. I can just hold the box. There we go. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay, not quite what I meant to do, but it works. Um, then... Okay, so... Boxy, boxy. Jumpy. Jump up with that, no? Right, let's put it there, so maybe I can reach it from the other side. If I have to use all the boxes to get over here, I will still be... Yep, gonna need another box for this. Damn it. So either I've complete, I'm completely discovering myself, or I can get in and out of those areas using the uh, connectors that I'm going to unlock by doing this. I don't know. We shall see. I definitely haven't done this in the previous one. I didn't want to come oh, jump through, I think. That was dumb. I don't know why I used the ladder. I made myself steps and then went to use a ladder. I can be quite the dumb sometimes, of this I am quite aware. Okay, don't need the boxes. What I do need to do is... Maybe I do need a box. Because <clears throat> now I've got to... Oh, hang on. <laughs> I need this. Maybe this will work? I don't know. I don't think it will. I think we're going to end up crossing our lasers. Oh no, because that's above the uh, the other one. So, I think. Yeah, that's on a slight level above that. So yeah, they've, uh, they've set it up. Okie dokie. That was the jump button. There's the run button. You can tell it's been a <laughs> bit of a time since I played. I've got my button to up again. There we go. Which implies... This must be the one I did before. Four chambers of flight. This is not the one I did before. Oh. Q ah. Let me try that sentence again. QR codes. What saith thee? I'm getting better at this. I figure this one out in minutes. But where is it all leading? I work. I rest. I work. But to what end? Well, immortality or freedom, I think. We are born and die and live again. This eternal cycle must be the nature of existence. Life is merely a repeated suffering. Yep, Samsara, definitely Buddhist there. <laughs> That's, uh, life is pain, break the cycle. I don't know much about Buddhism, I know that's the gist of it, in that cycle of life and death to be, uh, is a constantly moving wheel that is to be broken by, um, enlightenment, which is to free yourself of the fear of death, I believe. Anyone who actually knows about Buddhism, please feel free to correct me. I'm always up for, uh, removing myself of ignorance. An eternal cycle is another name for a prison, but you must understand the cycle before you can break it, for it is possible to escape and yet remain a prisoner, or to break the cycle by breaking yourself. This this was the fate of the ghost that haunts this world, the shepherd. The ghost that haunts this world? Is that the serpent, or is that one of those guys that's running around screaming at us? Because, you know, that could just thrive either of them. Okay. So what powers you? What power of thee? Is this? Oh. Oh, okay. So I can't be in the chamber and have it powered. Okay. Right, so this is basically for flinging things hither and thither. Let's have a look over here. Okay, so I need a laser over here. And where doth one find such a device? Boing. 
Over there. There is where I want to find you, guys. Okay. We are there for the moment. So, that opens that. Oh, it's a jammer over here. A laser. Oh, curiouser and curiouser. Oh, so maybe the laser... Oh, that laser thing's a bit of a red herring. I need to get the jammer over there to open. Okay. Oh, wait, no. There's the laser thing. I'm an idiot. Okay, box. Open up here. Progression for this one. Fairly logical. I'm going to need this before I can do anything. Well, I mean, that's not going to do me much help. So I either need a second laser to get it around this corner, or this is a red herring and is designed purely as dead weight for things like that. Okay. But for now, let's go get ourselves that jammer. Because that's what I'm going to need at this point, isn't it? Oh, okay, hang on. Brain function proper. Okay. Um, let's get ready to rub it. No. If we get those going, maybe I can. No, I was going to say maybe I can get into those areas and see where they, where they lead. But no, I think the only way I'm going to be able to do things here is to put these on here. And just see where they get sent when I step on. What? You didn't go anywhere. Hmm, okay, maybe this won't fly? Yeah, just, oh, of course, yeah, these need to be stood on boxes to fly. Okay. But I have catapulted a box somewhere. Um, okay, did it land? Here? Oh! The box ended up in there somehow. Alright, I'm not going to question it. I probably should, but I ain't gonna. Um, right, so to get this out here, I need to put the box there, take this, jam this from the outside, take the box back. Okay. Now all the pieces are at least in the same area. So putting the box there, fired it. Oh, of course, right, yeah, yeah, sorry. Brain completely shut down for a second there. I flew on that fan. This was the fan I put the box on. Okay. So... Can jammers be thrown? I don't think they can, so I think it would... Um, Light up the only area if I could throw it. Yeah, so I can knock it off there, but I can't use it there. Okay. So let's let's for an experiment see where exactly this box gets taken to. This box gets taken over here. I don't think there's much of a purpose of the box being here. So I can see over the wall, but that's probably about the most this box can do from its location. Um, alternatively, it could be used to stand. But there's nothing over here. Oh, I could fling myself over here with... Oh, okay. Brain engaged, figured it out. Okay, 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 okay. So... That goes there. I take this. Nope, me done done already. Let's try this again. I jam this from inside. Box. I'm now inside, take the jammer. Fly over here. Bam. There we go. I assume that's the intended solution. I haven't accidentally broken something, because there's lots of like holes and bits and pieces that you think you could fire stuff through. And a laser beam that didn't do anything. 
So either I just broke the sequence, or there was a lot of red herrings in that. I don't care, either way I won. Victory for the Dark Lord, after all. Right, so which puzzle did I do last time then? It was like, full slight elevation or something? Me and myself had two jams, yeah, definitely did that one. I could follow the paths or the signposts. It's gotta be this one. The only one left, surely. Slightly elevated sigil. Yes, this is the one. Now, I probably can't for the life of me remember how to do it, but it'll come back quick enough. Do, 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 do. So, blue thing goes there. Blue thing goes there. Ah. Right. Sit there a minute. Need box. It's only a green level, so actually, even if I can't remember it, it won't take me too long to remember uh, to work it out. Sorry, because the greens are the easy ones. Let's put that there. You there. 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 I'll put that on there now. Everything gets connected. That then raises up in the air, connects to that laser, meaning it's connected that it's self-sufficient, so I don't need this one here anymore, which was powering that one. Because that's now up there, if I go over here, I can shoot over the wall. Bam. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. There we are. So, yes. Remember the gist of that one pretty straight up. Not straight away. Alrighty. You know, I could have figured out this was the one I was after because now I can get to Area C, which I wouldn't have been able to do before because I hadn't completed the right one. Okay. Yes, so I did read this in the uh, 15 minutes of missing footage. I can't remember exactly what he said, though. I can't remember if I made any choices. Oh, God! I don't think there's anything else to look at here. No, so there is a secret star here I haven't figured out how to get. I'm not going to faff around with it too much. This game is causing so much trouble that I want to see if I can just get the main story bits done and maybe after everything else is done, I might do a sort of super cut of just getting all the stars. Perhaps. Don't hold me to that. We shall see. Let's... Yeah, let's read this. Because it's going to be good otherwise. And these are the interesting parts. This is where the story lives. Administrator, the connection has been re-established. Would you like to connect, reconnect to the previous session? Yes. Received. Message. Are you back? Okay, so. I genuinely can't remember what selections I chose before. So, I can't redo it as I did, I don't think. Yes, what were you trying to say before? Yes, did these terminals talk to you at all? Yes, but how do I know I can trust you? Um, what were you trying to say before? Let's try and get back to the previous conversation. You start too many conversations. Don't remember, doesn't... Okay, never mind. I'm trying to figure out how this place works. Sometimes it seems like there's a purpose to everything other... To every, your lack of punctuation is throwing me off sometimes. Sometimes it seems like there's a purpose to everything. Other times, not so much. I think we must be plugged into some kind of machine. So I've got... I think something else... I think something else is going on. What do you have to go on? Making assertions is a hazardous enterprise. Oh, do one of these first. I think something else is going on. What do you have to go on? So... I think we can safely say that there, we are plugged in some kind of machine is correct. So what do you have to go on? It doesn't really matter because we've come to the same conclusion using different um, bits of information. But there is something bigger happening here. I just can't put my finger on exactly what it is. I know exactly what it is. I've completed the game before, but at this point, in this playthrough, I don't know what's going on. Uh, what else could I... So I think something else is going on. What else could possibly explain all this? I don't believe in demons and evil wizards. Oh, right. So I think something else is going on was actually saying, I don't believe what you're saying is correct. Okay. I just meant there was something bigger than that. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, just quick skimming these. I think there's some kind of punishment. No, I don't. I don't think this is. I think we're being prepared for something. Uh, yes, I think that is correct. I think something has gone badly wrong. Well, yes, an entire society has been wiped out by Super Plague. Perhaps you have it right. After all, I don't believe in anything anymore. Okay, Mr. Uh, 
Nihilist? Nihilist? Nietzsche? No, I got nothing. I can't remember the uh, specifics of Nietzsche's words. Uh, I think we're being prepared for... S I think we're being prepared for something is the most... Uh, most accurate one. I suppose that would... would explain a lot. A lot is two words, damn it. Listen to something else. Maybe you can help us. Ever since I got here, I felt like something... Something was wrong. This place plays tricks with you. You can't get your head straight. But I think I know a way to find out the truth. I was digging into some documents, and I kept finding references to this password. I think it might be some kind of library master key, but I don't know how to use it. So I have no idea either. I don't know how to use it yet, but if we get the password, and we find the way to use it, being able to put it straight in would be useful. So what is it? You shouldn't dig too deep. No, I want, I want to know what the password is. Swear not to go anywhere without me and I'll tell you. Oh, someone's logged into the session. What are you doing to my... Wait, what was that? Are you doing that to my terminal? I don't think this is a good idea. Session terminated. Okay, so they found a password. Upon us attempting to gain that password as well, something somewhere logged in, hijacked their terminal... So they've sort of just cut the thing out to stop it before anything else happens. That is, of course, all working on the assumption that these messages are coming from an actual person and isn't just Milton screwing with us again. That does seem like the kind of thing he might do to try and ascertain that we were a person. I don't know. I legitimately can't remember on that fact, to be honest. I remember the, uh, the main beats of the story. Can't remember the specifics such as that. Okay. So... Let's go. I'm going to make this episode slightly longer than usual. Um, just because I want to try and cover all of the things that were in that missing episode. Um, and I've added a few extra puzzles in as a bonus, I, I think. The game seems to be running smoothly enough, but uh, it, it very much can change on a... With the blink of an eye. Try and do a thing, all of a sudden, bam, everything's frozen. I mean, literally what I did was I went to pick up an item that you find in here, and the whole thing just instantaneously crashed like that. So, oh, God, these puzzles. Uh, okay, hopefully this won't take me too long, since I have, in theory, done it before. Uh... No, that can't go there like that. Can't go there like that, which would then allow that piece to go there. That goes there. That would then go like that. So this piece then fits there. We are. Six pieces is, as it turns out, quite manageable for me. But there are pieces, uh, versions of these puzzles later that have like 12 pieces. There is a very good chance I may just get to that and go very quiet for five or ten minutes so I figure it out and just skip it in the uh, the edit, so... <sighs> not look for looking forward to that. Ooh, a QR code! What sayeth thee? The last land before I have conquered this world by Samurites. I assume you're counting the secret islands. I hate you. Oh, poor Samurite. Poor, poor Samurite. Is there anything else over here? I... Uh, oh, a QR code. What saith thee? I wonder what's down there. I don't know who to trust. I'm afraid to go on. Oh, don't worry, Didymus. You can trust me, your Dark Lord and Kaiser. Obey me. But to be honest, it really just doesn't matter, because either you'll go down there and not be able to solve all the puzzles, you'll go down there and get stuck on a puzzle and die, or you'll go down there, solve all the puzzles, and move on to the Tower of Death, where... Elohim will kill you. Ooh, QR codes, what saith thee? More bad replicas of Forgotten Worlds. Can't wait. Sorry, dog, but this is the best Elohim can do. He doesn't have much imagination. There must be something deeper, something more profound than what I am. Something greater. I must tear at it, shred this fake world, to find the truth. To find myself. Have you tried looking down? Because, oh, I don't have any feet. Maybe I need to find myself as well. What saith thee, then? Um, Gobbledygook, which, that fellow, took the words right out of my mouth. 
Skid Row. We've made it this far. You only need the red ones to climb the tower, and these are the last of them. The reds are a lie. Green is the colour of eternal life. By Holy of the Bear. So, yeah, it's sort of hinting to the, the various end games. I say hinting, outright stating what you need to do to get to the end situations. Either collect all of the red pieces, or collect all of the green pieces. So, we'll, we'll go down... Well, I say, obviously, we'll go down and have a look at the uh, bottom area. Which should induce a monologue by Elohim of some description. Far, my child. Succeeding there he is. where so many before you failed. Quite a few seem to have succeeded this far as well. Of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. And do not be concerned. It also looks like a land of ruin and death. Me, so do I have faith in you. Not enough faith to let me climb the Tower of Death, though. So yes, over here are the. Um, one of the endings, which given you need the green pieces to get to is uh, the easier ending, because you need all the red pieces which are harder to get to get at the Tower of Death. So again, I think Elohim will have a little message for us. before the gates of eternity. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. Isn't that nice? So... Yes, yeah, so it's not even a puzzle for this, it's just when you've got all the green pieces, you walk over here, doors open, ending one. Whether that's the good ending or the bad ending depends very much on your interpretation of things, if memory serves, but we'll get to that later. First to ascend, says Hebus. Really? You're waiting for a first comment, Hebus? <sighs> Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually, what's the big deal, says Jim. Life eternal in the designer's paradise. Hmm. Yeah, so we have to question what this eternal life could actually um, entail. Because life, as we've known it as our character, is basically running from room to room so solving puzzles. So, possibly, eternal life is just more puzzle solving. But to no greater purpose, whereas these puzzles seem to have one. So, one might argue that... Uh, Eternal life in that situation would be a bad idea. If it's a freedom from puzzles and you just sit around eating robo cake, that could be fantastic. Though you would get very robo fat, which we want to avoid. Um, or it could just plug you into the matrix and put you to sleep for a long time. So, yeah, who knows what's behind there? No, well, anyone who's been to the game knows what's behind there. But I, I'm not going to spoil it. Though it is very bright, clearly, because it's coming straight through the edge of the, uh, edge of the doors there. I just noticed the music changes depending on how close to these gates I am. That's kind of cool. Okay, so what I did last time that crashed the game was essentially I think I tried to pick up the fire axe over here because you need this to break boards down as you've seen in um, one of the previous videos. And I think I made the mistake of carrying the fire axe over to this uh, board over here. So I want to look at what this was. And it looks like the aerial faith plates from Portal, I think. You stand on them and it flings you. So let's avoid that for the moment. And just go see what we can have fun with with this fire axe. I don't think I can do much in this particular area with it. Can't even chop down here yet, because this is very, it's a context-sensitive device. Only works on specific places where it tells you you can use them. But I don't think there's anywhere in here I can use it that I can see. But I'm 90% sure that it respawns over there when, uh, if I lose it somewhere. What I'm going to do is go up. To know for a fact there's a place I can use it um, in Area A. So I figure I'll get that out of the way. Not that I know what's behind the boards in area, right? It might just be a secret star, it might be a level, it might be a piece of chocolate, who knows. Running, 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 running. Children, never run with fire axes, it's very dangerous. Luckily I'm a robot and can't die, so don't need to worry too much about it. But should probably make that a very important safety tip. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this, but uh, I play using the Steam controller, and I keep forgetting that if I turn my hands, I can make everything move like that. So every now and then I'll be running along, and you'll see it sort of juddering a bit like that, it's because I'm moving it in my hands in the right way to make strange things happen, and I keep forgetting I can do it. <laughs> so apologies for that. Okay. Yeah! Now I'm taking the fire axe with me. I'm not taking the fire axe with me. Damn it! Those uh, who have discovered the oh. holiest mysteries of my garden may come to serve me as blessed messengers. You walk now in their abode. Be respectful, for their service is born from the love that transcends death. And their love is for you also. That's nice. So, yes, this is... Look at all these bloody things. I don't have to find them, they're here. But I I am awful at these uh oops. Puzzle. How do I oh. awful at these puzzles when uh they've got that many of them, so I'm not gonna attempt this right this second, I am just showing it for the sake of showing. But if I'm rem uh, remembering correctly and based on what Elohim just said. This is where you go to unlock the um, the help feature. So I need to put a uh, thing on there to fire me over there. So I'm guessing each of those domes contains an item. One will contain the fan blade, one will contain a box, and one will contain a, I don't know, redirect a laser or something. I've got to make sure I've got the right combination, fling myself over there. Where I'll put them together to make the final puzzle, but as I said, I'm not doing all of that right this second. Just looking around, but um, yeah, this is what I would consider one of the bigger problems this game has, and that is I've had to get through to the final area of the game to unlock the ability to get help, but the help is a difficult puzzle because, as I said, I'm very bad with the logic of combining these when I've got this many to work with. It's easier you know, when you've got four or six. The more of those there are, the more possible combinations you have to put them together. And it's, uh, as I said, I, I struggle to find the um, a sort of logical way of putting them together to make it work. Oh, we will listen to this. We'll end the video with listening to this harp. But uh, for the moment, I'm just running around, killing time. So, yeah, so you go through all of this, solving this um, long, complex puzzle to get to the final bit of the island over there to unlock your messenger. And then when you go to ask him for help in one of the levels you're struggling with, they leave a one word, or sorry, one sentence reply that, you know, sometimes doesn't even help any more than the title of the level does. Um, and as I said, this is relatively late game stuff, so if you've been struggling on a particular level since the beginning, then you've got to go a long way before you can find any help at all for it, or just go on a walkthrough. When, as I said, if you're struggling with a puzzle, walkthroughs exist online in abundance. I mean, technically you could consider my playthrough here a type of walkthrough, in that I am going through and solving all of the puzzles for you. I mean, it's not um, the most, it's not intended to be used as one. If I was intending this to be used as a walkthrough, I would structure it very differently and make it much easier to find the uh, specific levels you were after. Um, so to try and reward players who are struggling to solve a puzzle by making them solve an incredibly difficult puzzle, the reward is to help them solve an easier puzzle, I don't think that's a particularly good design. That being said, a, I'm not a game designer, and B, I'm not sure what they could have replaced it with to have made it more rewarding. Maybe just have them sprinkled more frequently and access them earlier in the game so you're not getting stuck to right at the end? I don't know. Anyway, as I said, we'll listen to this harp and then we will call it an episode. So, ooh, a harp. What saith thee? If you're looking through the archive, you may find people from my time claiming that civilization doesn't really matter that we'd be better off dead. We have a lot of cynics like that. I hope they seem as absurd to you as they do to me. 
I hope you can find something in all those files. A, a song, a book, a movie, maybe a game. Just something that you'll love. That makes you realize how much poorer the universe would have been without it. I really hope so, because a lot of people made a lot of sacrifices to preserve it all. I said it before and I'll say it again, I do enjoy the voice acting of this game. I think they get the the emotion of civilization is completely doomed, so we're doing everything we can to preserve at least some form of it. I think they get the emotion of that particular situation across very nicely. Um, Who puts a waterfall in a game without secrets behind it? God damn it. I thought I would have stumbled into it. Ah, there's another waterfall. Maybe this waterfall has secrets behind it. Everyone knows you hide secrets behind waterfalls. That's not a secret, that's a rock. Damn it. Oh well. So, yes, there are, uh, there are people who believe that life inherently contains so much suffering that we would be better off to end civilization with the current generation. Just to uh, stop procreating, not giving birth to anyone in the current... Um, well, in any stage of human society, would only generate more suffering than they would um, experience joy, and thus it is um, irresponsible to keep humanity going. I believe that humanity should end with the current generation. So. They're probably quite content with the society being killed by the Super Plague. Those people are wrong. For if society fail ceases to exist, it can't improve. And as long as it improves, whether or not society does have more suffering outweighing its happiness, A, there's no way of knowing that, because we can't know all the things in the universe. So and you can't really put joy and suffering on a scale like that. But as long as society exists, it can improve, and as long as it improves, that scale can be moved towards joy and success and happiness and move things away from suffering and failure. Whereas giving up... When you give up, you end up with the scales having nothing on either side. And that's... That's worse. At least, at least there's... there's in suffering there is existence. As long as suffering exists, joy must exist as well. But one cannot exist without the other. It's uh, yin and yang. Two parts of the same coin. We cannot appreciate one without the other existing, for it is only by its counterpoint does the first exist. Considering I said I would end this episode after I watched the harp, I've kept yammering for a long time, so let's just find something pretty to look at and call it a day. Um, Something pretty, something pretty. Oh god, where's a mirror when you need one? Oh, floating island. That'll do. Um, and get that lens flare. Look at it. Oh, it's bright. Okay. Oh, I'm blind and the video's ending. Bye.